Yeah, can we just move on finally to the decision to allow 40,000 people into Croke Park for the All-Ireland Final without testing or certs or whatever. And then, of course, the music industry, needless to say, up in arms about this and saying that you, you're destroying our industry. We might never emerge from this with the way things are, are going. Um, do you want to take that first of all, uh, Joe? But the reality of it is, yeah, it did create a very bad image. You know, there was no um, masks, there was no social yes. distancing. Was and really the t-shirt thing. present yeah. as well. And and present. Yeah. And you turn around then and you come back then with the same drumstick and you say, look, we can't have this many here, we can't have that many there the music and we can't open up this and we can't open up that. You know, I think it's crazy. And I, I think, again, we're not singing at all after one hymn sheet here. I think we should have, we should need to open up because the next thing, if we don't do it, the next thing, like, as you know, the weather will change and the next thing, all of a sudden, the event could be gone and then we're going into something else. You know, course, yeah. and, and if you look at that then, like, and if you see the recent events, we'll say with the likes of, you know, the cool camps and these kind of things, yeah. just at a local level. What, what really stood out for me was RTE reporting that people were socially distanced and they were all wearing masks. Yeah. Like well, the propaganda machine was in full yeah. flow. And it was the like, pictures didn't. didn't well, show you, that, you know, you could see, I could tell that it was, it was like an All-Ireland with 80,000. Yeah. You know, you didn't see a spare seat in the house. Yeah. Um, and for people whose livelihoods is maybe playing a gig at the weekends and that, They've been completely set one side. Like, people are, mm. if they try to put people into another lockdown, I don't know what would happen. Is credibility shot at this point? Quite day? a bit. There is no credibility. They're, yeah. say, I, and how could they expect there to be? Because the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. Simon Coveney came out there and said, yeah, it was awful. What He was at the match on Sunday as well. We will have an answer within the week as to, you know, how we're progressing with the with music and all that. Not a word since, you know. And so, somebody got onto us this morning and said the way to fix the COVID infection was charge everybody one hundred euro for the test, and all of a sudden the numbers would just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> the all Ireland. Well, model, it's a think. reflection, I suppose, of the attitude of this country to the arts down the years. Uh, it's low priority, has yes. been, and despite the fact it's highly valued by the people, and I think people would love to see live music events uh, come back mm -hmm. and so on. Um, GEA, I suppose um, it is a powerful lobby group. Uh, it captures the hearts and minds, as we saw last Sunday, yeah. of, of a whole nation. Um, and, and that's not to take from a marvellous game. Marvellous, like, yeah, you know, exactly. I mean, and yeah. I suppose it was in, in open space, but I know Catherine Martin, as Minister for the Arts, is under pressure getting very little hearing from the yes. government top table. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not equality mm. from that point of view. Musicians are notoriously awful at getting together and have one, one voice, voice because yeah. they're all kind of busy stabbing each other yeah. in the back for a Yeah, and I suppose you, I've you seen know. that as an educator. Uh, the arts group are not a very organised No, no. Group. The, the first in, thing they discuss is the split. What yeah, was that in, Brendan Behan? Was in, ter <laughs> in terms of a coherent yeah. voice. Yeah. The lesson to be learned from the arts group uh, from COVID, it is get organised get yourself speaking with one voice oh. uh, so that you may but, get a hearing. Like and and the don't. people who congregated after the match, everybody knew there was going to be a congregation after an All-Ireland yeah. final. And still, I mean, the, the points that's been made about the kind of communion and confirmation is that you can't congregate. Obviously. Absolutely. But, mm -hmm. but to add an ideal scenario, like, you know, it just takes some bother thinking. In Croke Park, like, if you're in Section A, you're let out at five o'clock. If you're in section B, you're let out at five fifteen. If you're in section, mm. sure, it's easy to do it. Like, it's, not, it's, it's not rocket yeah. science. Like, this none stuff. of that was done. None of that was even done. Mm. Not at all. Mm. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah. You know? you, what, what, how do you see it evolving now, Alison? Like Monday is the meeting, for example. We, this famous roadmap ahead. Mm. What, what's going to happen? It's a car crash. Well, say Tony Houlihan has come out and said, you know, like until big, ninety big, percent big. of the over sixteens are vaccinated, we can't really go any further. But whether government yeah. will go against him or not. But he also came out and said electric picnic was going to go ahead. If, exactly. If, if you, if yeah. People... So and you know, it's like the whole thing is it, it is a car crash. It's a shambles and it's mixed messages to people yeah. the whole time. And just your point on the music industry and how they don't really. Do, it's the same with farming, say, say sector. And I think it's because everyone works alone. They're all yeah. self-employed. Yes. And it's very hard to actually get people together. Um, to fight for the one cause because they're so used to working in solitude. Yeah, Absolutely. But you yes. need a minister with drive in them and a vision. And we lack politicians with vision for this country right now. Uh, a, a selfless vision. Now, lots of them have vision, That's but they're very, selfish. You're, you're nodding at that, Joe. That's very damning for the years ahead, uh, particularly for but young people to hear. It is. 
Macron but the people Paris. are moving ahead of 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 uh, government on this. I mean, yes. people do want to hear music again. Uh, the artists deserve. It, it's got so much of it moving ahead. Yeah. Anecdotally, uh, be yeah. careful about this. I mean, we're hearing on the show that people are giving up on this. I mean, yeah, an awful lot of the rest of us are not looking for it. Like, come September, when the licensing, you know, the pub licenses are being renewed again, you'll see an awful lot of pubs that they won't renew any license yeah. at all. So the venues won't be there. So the groups will fall yeah. away. Yes. The musician that that by, this is by, I hate the term, this natural wastage crack. Mm. But the reality is, the venues won't be on there. The other hand, on the other hand, you know? hand I've seen, I just saw there this morning, uh, you know, there's a barge going down the River Barrow with two musicians and then pulling in at various locations and having uh, a sing song. And I think one of the things COVID has, uh, COVID has brought out the creativity in people. And I've yes. seen a lot of new music venues opening up in new contexts. New ideas. And new yeah. ideas. Yes. And, and uh, you but know, course, one, one, once the winter comes in. <laughs> once the winter, well, <laughs> you know, uh, this is a, a real, real pleasure today. Excellent panel. Thank you so much, Alison and Noel and Joe. Thanks very much.